Welcome back to the Marketing Ninja Podcast with Manuel Suarez, CEO of Attention Grabbing Media and author of number one bestseller, Marketing Magic. I believe that a millionaire is somebody that's just motivated and hungry. So there's two types of millionaires, the one that has inherited wealth and the one that has created their own wealth. And it's very different one to the other. In my case, a millionaire is uh, that's self-made, which I, I don't like to use that term very much because I don't call myself really self-made because I wouldn't be where I'm at today if it wasn't for the team that I've accumulated and that I've been blessed with and also with the people that opened up doors to me along the way. So self-made is not really a a proper name. But to get to the status of being a millionaire, for me, it's about passion. I don't think about money as much as I think about passion and ability to impact and influence and create effects at scale. Money just comes in followed by this passion and this push, this relentless pursuit of greatness. And just to work hard. I mean, I didn't really understood my potential. As I try to think about why was I asleep for so long? Why didn't I actually try to do something better? Because I have a really good mind. And I can say that about myself now. Some people don't like to talk about themselves. In my case, I'm ready to say that I have a brilliant marketing mind. I do. And people give me seats in their table because what I say is valuable. Just like I have all the people that I admire and I respect because whatever they say, it's incredible, it's unique. I didn't realize that about myself until maybe a few years ago. As I started seeing the success around me and I started seeing all the people that were paying attention to what I had to say and respected me and I was doing seminars and presentations and interviews and all these things and people were paying attention, I realized I got something special and people appreciate what I had to say and that opened up the door for me to really believe in myself. And now I talk about it with confidence. Like I sat down yesterday with this individual that I probably one of the smartest people I've ever met, if not the smartest person. And I feel like I belong because what I say creates an impact and he believes in it. And just like what he says creates an impact on me, I reciprocate and it's very powerful. So I have earned my seat at tables that 10 years ago, I would have not imagined in my wildest dreams or it was only supposed to be for people in the Ivy Leagues of the world that belong to certain cultures that I am not a part of. So the millionaire mindset is, it's just a mindset full of confidence in yourself and your own ability. The beautiful thing is that it happens with execution and results. Like when I have an idea and I have a thought and I have a plan of action and then I execute on that plan of action that was born with this idea, and we see results, then you start building on your confidence. Like the name of the game is attention. If I get attention, any business can do better. Attention equals income. So I already know that. So now I figure out a strategy, specific example, in this year, we created a strategy to get attention at scale for our natural slim brand. My father passed away 21 months ago, and he's not a brand anymore, he's not the face anymore and I had to figure out how to get attention without him. So we took his videos and his content, his information, and we turned that into 3,200 publications to distribute across all platforms that give me an opportunity to distribute. And that happened in October, and we had a record-breaking October revenue month. So money follows attention, attention equals income. So when I have an idea like that, and I execute it either myself or via my team, usually it's via my team. At this at this stage of the game, I have a team that I can rely on. I can have an idea and I can be like, hey guys, listen, I got something. And then they're like, oh, that sounds like a great idea. They execute and magical things happen. A few things happen. I certify my correctness. I strengthen my correctness. And my team believes in me even more because I am more right than wrong. And by me being more right than wrong, then they themselves fall more in line with my vision and my mind, and they start following more whatever I have to say because they know that he might be wrong sometimes, but more often than not, he's right. And it's all born with a mindset. It's all born with that mindset that builds with time. And at the beginning, you kind of doubt yourself, but you keep on pushing through despite that doubt. And then once you push yourself despite that doubt, then you see the results that happen and you look at it and you're like, oh, wow, I know I was doubtful. I know I doubted myself, but look at what I did. 
that's pretty amazing. And people start asking me then, how did you do that? And I'm like, wow, how did I do that? And then it's like, oh, wow, that was my create. And the magical things start happening more and more and more. And that's, you know, again, marketing magic. And it's born with that push, despite any doubts that you have about yourself. And you execute on those doubts, you see magic happen, you get results, you believe in yourself more, and it's almost like building a building. The next brick makes you a little stronger, makes you a little stronger. The next result makes you a little better. And by doing so, you get to the point that now you feel unbreakable, indestructible. And that's where I'm at right now. I feel indestructible and I feel like I can lose it all and I can build it back up because my confidence is at a level right now that I'm not afraid of failing. I'm not afraid of anything, nothing. When it comes to personal goals, personal business, business, professional, this journey, I got zero fears because I have confidence in my ability to survive and expand no matter what. And that's a beautiful thing to develop. And I think that when you feel like that, that's being a millionaire. And it has nothing to do with how much money you got in the bank account, but it has everything to do with how you feel about your own ability, about yourself, spiritually, internally, and externally. And that's a millionaire mindset right there. Hey, thanks for listening. If you enjoyed the podcast, go ahead, leave us a review and subscribe to tune in for future episodes. And if you're looking for a team that'll go above and beyond for you and your brand, go to talktoaninja.com today.